You ever wonder what it would be like to go to your own funeral? Well, today, we're gonna meet a man who did exactly that. Sort of. The year is 1804, and Captain Sam Jones decides to help his neighbors move a barn. He's just that kind of guy. Well, in the process of moving this barn, Captain Jones learns a painful lesson about barns and gravity. And unfortunately, it's a lesson that his leg takes the brunt of. The move doesn't go exactly as planned. And uh, the barn lands on his leg. I imagine it was something like this. And that's all that's left of the Wicked Witch of the East. Though probably exactly the opposite. Before I go on about uh, Captain Jones, I should probably tell you a little bit about where we are on this road trip stop. Washington, New Hampshire is located in southern New Hampshire, um, about two hours south or so of its uh, similarly named famous mountain. It's a little general store town about a half hour from anything, but definitely worth a little road trip. Okay, road trip background done. Let's get back to our hero. So they dropped the barn on his leg. Well, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Day. Yes, I know that. And Captain Jones, unlike Lieutenant Dan, still had two legs at this point. So in order to dull the pain before the doctor could get there to complete the job the barn had started. He works his way toward medicinal drunkenness with the help of many of the townsfolk as the story goes. I should probably say here that details are very, very sketchy. But we're going to go with the story anyway. And somewhere in all the medicinal drunkenness it's decided that the most important thing to do, or the most obvious thing to do when you have a essentially a drunken amputation is to march, or I assume in Captain Jones's case, hobble, down to this cemetery to have a funeral for your leg. So, as the story goes, that's exactly what happened. Now, Washington's not that big, so they didn't have to hobble far. But I'd like to imagine that the funeral was complete with clergy and maybe even a band. Everybody dressed well. I don't know if that's the case or not, but I'd like to think that it is. But in any case, at the end of it, Captain Jones' leg was buried right here. And that is how Captain Jones came to attend his own funeral, sort of. If you like this video, please punch the like button, share it with your friends maybe, and uh, if you wanna see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it.